The idea for this video came to me literally in the middle of the night and I was like, yes, that would be so fun. We all have pieces that we used to love and wear all the time and we hold on to them in our, in our wardrobes even if we don't really wear them that much. And I thought it would be a fun little challenge for me to try and style those pieces that used to be very me. I'm talking like 2015, 2016 for some of these pieces, some of them a bit more recently. I thought it would be fun to try and style them in the way that I dress now. And it was also a good wake up call of like, actually if I'm like not sure whether to keep something or sell it, I should actually try and style it because if I'm really struggling, I'll just never reach for it in my wardrobe. So yeah, this was very, very fun and a very fun trip down memory lane to go through my Instagram to find the photos as well of me wearing these pieces back in the day. So let's get into my old fave pieces and how I would style them today. First thing is my 80s like grommet shoes. I don't know what they're called, but they've got like buckles. And I bought these from 80s, one of my, probably one of my first like big purchases because they were quite expensive, they were a couple hundred quid. And I got them from the 80s shop. I just thought they were the coolest things ever. I saw Phoebe Lettuce wearing them. And I think Devon Carlson had them too. And I was like, these shoes are iconic. I need them. I think these are probably my gateway into new rocks. Like I wore Buffaloes first and I got these. And then I think they're my gateway into new rocks, which I obviously love and wear all the time now. For a solid couple of years, these were my shoes. I wore them all the time. Styling these, I knew I wanted to do something like gothic. Obviously it like went with that vibe and that was quite like effortless. So the first look that I did was this long plaid tartan skirt, which I've been loving at the moment. It's very Helena Bonham Carter. You guys know that I love dressing like that. And then I put it with this like black jacket that I'm literally obsessed with. And it's got this amazing like ruffled neckline it's like very extra but it's still like cinched at the waist so i thought this was very cool and then just to make it a bit cutesy and also warmer i put some white tights and gray leg warmers on the top because i'm loving that combo and i just love white tights right now they just make me think of like ballet but it's fun to like mix that with a completely different style so i like this look overall and i think i would actually wear it the shoes the thing is, like, if I put this outfit on, I'd probably just rather wear new rocks, but I did like this look and I hadn't done this skirt top combo before, so I liked that. The next look with these shoes I really liked, it's this cop copying long sleeve dress that I got. I think I got it from my friend Yachty's shop, Shop Yachts, so I just paired it with these, like, khaki... They're almost cargo trousers, but they don't have pockets or anything. I got these from the Funny Pretty Nice shop when I did a pop-up with them last April, last year. And I love this outfit. I put it with my DKNY denim jacket and then a little George Jr. and Lucy bag. I like that all the pieces, I mean, first of all, the dress has panels with different tones of similar colors. And then I wanted to kind of go with that theme and do the same with the jacket and the bag and the trousers. So the whole, outfit is kind of different tones of the same color and then the shoes just tie it together nicely and i really like this outfit i would definitely wear it again i'm always going to be wearing dresses over trousers i think i'm phobic of just like showing ankles like with tights or so i don't know i just like the ankles to be covered unless it's in summer then i'm like flip-flops every day the next one is this corset now if you followed me for a while because i'm a deep pop seller and i have my own brand and if you followed me specifically on Depop for a long time, you'll remember this corset. This corset had a chokehold on a lot of us. And this was probably, I'm going to say, 2018. I took this photo wearing this corset, the Vivian Westwood choker and IMG, a pinstripe trousers, and it went like viral. I, <laughs> this photo is just like ingrained in my memory. It's just a bit of an iconic pic. And I sold these corsets on Depop probably had like 20 of them and I was selling them for a lot I was selling them for like 80 because they kind of look like Vivian Westwood ones and people were loving them it used to be my like going out top I wanted to do something steampunky because I thought that was like quite a nice obvious choice for it um but I struggled to make it not look too costumey because it's got velvet and then it's got like spandex sides so it just did look a bit like that so at first I put it with this All Saints ruched like 
dress but that looked too much like a steampunk costume rather than like steampunk vibe so then I put my black L trousers underneath and then I was like this is cute but I don't like the sleeve length on the dress so then I put on a little cardigan and I tried a couple of cardigans and I landed on this one that's pretty much just sleeves so then you can still see the corset underneath and the cardigan that I put has this cute little like, metal charm on it so I thought that looked really cute as well so I think with the trousers that tones it down a bit and I do like this look it's quite extra like I'm wondering where I would wear it probably more like to a dinner in a day I wouldn't wear it like to work I don't think but I do love the shape of the skirt and the corset like cinches in the silhouette really nicely this was the hardest one by far to style okay the next one oh I love this top I would never sell it another pig actually that went viral on Pinterest I styled this cute little pink milkmaid top with um a vintage new look tartan skirt um, and the photos like me on my car, my old car, RIP, because someone, a drunk driver smashed into it when it was parked on my street. But anyway, that's a different story for a different day. Yeah, I love this top. I wear it loads like every year and I style it completely differently. So this was really fun. And because it's got like a milkmaid bust and like corseted front, I thought it would be obvious to go for like a wenchy, like Helena Bonham car to look. So I wanted to do something a bit different. And then I thought capris would be cute. So I put my like, I don't even know how to describe these capris. They're like tweed, they're pinstripe, they're glittery. They've got ruched sides. They've got pockets on the bum. They're just like the most J-Lo, like with a little Baker Boy hat, you know the vibes. So I put those together and I was like, this is very Carrie Bradshaw. So then I wanted to do some Carrie Bradshaw shoes. So I did these wooden Steve Madden shoes, which I think looked really, really cute together. And then, cause I was like, do you know what? This is a really chaotic outfit. Let's lean in. I put this <laughs> D&G like military, it's almost a military jacket. It's such an iconic jacket. I got it from Loot in Dublin. The jacket's like Cheryl Cole, fight for this love. The trousers are J-Lo, the shoes are Carrie Bradshaw. I thought that I would have to put a disclaimer on this outfit that it's a bit tapped and I probably would never wear it. But once I put it on, I was like, this is actually really cute. I'm so glad I did this because I will definitely wear this outfit. It's completely insane, but I love it. And then I wanted to also try out the top with these um, zebra prim capris. And then I thought, okay, I'll just do a crazy outfit again. So I did these like fuchsia heels with a little flower on them a lime green leather jacket and then a silver Chow Bella bag. I think my buyer got that bag for me. Again, I love it. I think the trousers and the top, like if the top was plain baby pink and not lace print, or if the trousers were like a cleaner zebra print, it would look a bit better because the two, the top and the trousers are a bit busy together, but all the colors work really nicely together. And I like the flower on the shoes with the flower on the leg of the capris. I just think it works really well. So that was also another key one. And that was quite Carrie Bradshaw inspired as well. The next one is this Avizu denim jacket. <laughs> I used to wear this jacket religiously. It's so cute because it's got a little hood. I love the embroidery on it. I think this was my first like denim jacket that wasn't like one that my mum got me from Gap when I was eight years old. So this outfit underneath I actually wore in Cape Town and I really, really like it. So it's these vintage popped cargo trousers, which really remind me of the ones that Jennifer Aniston wears. If you know, you know the pick, I always reference it. And then I put, I wanted to layer two tops, but I, I like layering two different silhouette tops. I'm actually wearing the black one right now. So I put this one underneath and then a white tank hair top over the top. And I thought that was a really nice way of layering. I did the reverse in South Africa because I, this is typical me, but I also have this top in white and the tank hair top in the other color. So I could do both combos, but I thought white would look better sh on the body showing through the denim jacket rather than black. So I flipped the colors around and I did black tank top and white tank air top. Um, and then the little denim jacket over the top. I, for me, like if I don't know what to wear a denim jacket with, cargoes is always a good one. And it gives me like naughties airport outfit, like just really cute, really easy. And denim jackets are so good for going on holiday because they're actually kind of warm, but not too warm. I can't explain it, but I always take a denim jacket on holiday. And yeah, I have and will wear this outfit a lot. 
I really like it. The next one is the Zebra Print Boots. I've had these boots, I'm going to say about six or seven years. And I used to, um, if you have followed my TikTok for a while, you'll know those outfit videos I used to do walking into work. And basically I worked from my bedroom for so long that when I finally got a studio, because I was working out my bedroom for like years and years running my brand. When I finally got a studio, I wanted to dress up so much. It was so cute. So I wear like heeled boots, but now I'm like, I'm going into work after so I'm literally just wearing like a jumper, leggings and Uggs. Like still a cute outfit though. But um, I would wear like heel boots and skirts and shirts and like I wanted to dress like, I wanted to feel like I was going into an office, which I was, but anyway. So I would wear these boots a lot during those videos and people loved them. And they're these beautiful like pony hair, knee high boots, like zebra print, perfect square toe, perfect block heel. Everything about them is just perfect basically. And when I looked at these boots, I knew this time around that I wanted to do an all black outfit. So I put it with this like ruched drawstring, asymmetric. It's actually a dress, but I like wearing it as a skirt. It's got like ruching up the side and then this black like slinky top with poppers that you can like, I love this top because you can choose how far up you pop it. So you can have it like really like sloping and drapey or you can do the poppers up more and have it more like high neck. It's so cute. I love this outfit. I would wear this out for dinner with my friends. It's like a dressier, cute look. I really, really like it. I also think these boots would look cute with like a plain black mini skirt, like my L mini skirt from my website and a black t-shirt. I went out on Saturday and I wore um, my tan hair black t-shirt and my L black mini skirt. I don't have any photos annoying me, but it looked really cute. So I think that the boots would look good with that as well. Finally, my red bandeau top. Now this top ruled my life probably from the ages of 19 to 21. I got it from Totally Cool Dad, a Depop seller. I don't know if they're still selling on Depop now, but I used to love their shop so much. And this top, it's so funny because I used to wear such cropped things and I put this on and I was like, oh my God, I do not remember this being so cropped, but I think that's probably why I don't wear it anymore because it's just so cropped, but I love the look of it. I just wish it was like hip length. But yeah, this used to be my going out slash festival top and I rinsed it. And there's so many photos on, guys, like Facebook. There's photos on Facebook of me wearing this top. I wore it to day festivals. So many good memories in it. And I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to do a sportier look. So I put it with these capris that I got in Miami that I absolutely obsessed with wearing. I'm so excited that it's summer so I get, well, not to get ahead of myself. I'm so excited that it's spring so I can wear these again. And then keeping on the sporty look, I just wanted to pair it with some trainers. So I did my Adidas Bad Bunny collab. Can't remember what they're called, but if you search that, you'll find them. And I thought a little white cardigan, this one's from Morgan de Tois, ties in the white stripes on the capris as well. I definitely will wear this. I just think it's such a cute, easy look. And the w leggings are high-waisted enough that I don't feel too exposed. Although I do like showing my tummy. And I do like, I think I prefer showing, weirdly, like the lower part of my stomach now, rather than like, like if a top's like cropped to here, I don't really show that bit. I prefer showing like that bit. I don't know why. But that's always changing, I feel like. My interest in like croppedness, like the level of crop of my tops is always changing. But there we have it. That's all, well, that's some of the pieces that I used to absolutely adore and wear all the time that used to have a chokehold on me. And it was really fun to take a trip down memory, memory lane and style those pieces for you in the way that I dress now. If you have any other styling videos, let me know because I feel like these are the most fun to film. I'm currently unpacking in my new house. Thank you for the love on my last video. I'm so happy to be in my new place and my walk-in wardrobe is coming along very, very nicely. And this was such a fun video to film because of my walk-in wardrobe and just being able to see it all. So stay tuned for my next video where I'll be organizing and unpacking and arranging and just settling in. So love you guys so much and thank you for being here.